Hey guys, and my one week posting break is finally over. And boy, that was a busy and exciting week. I had all sorts of things happen, ranging from birth of new colonies to death of old ones. Another major death is that of the queen of my Fadoli single queen colony, most likely from old age, as I caught her in the wild with no idea of how long she had lived before capture. But luckily, these are Fadoli and are famous for their cooperation and extreme polygyny. This problem had an easy solution. All I had to do was simply insert a few more queens of the same species into the queenless colony, and hopefully they will accept them. The first major update I have is about my ride to the Panera Metallica Super Polygyny test colony. Since the last update, two queens have died. They died of an unknown reason, but definitely not from a fight. They were most likely infertile or just died from a poisoned meal, such as a pestified infected insect. But the other queens have shown absolutely no signs of aggression, and I have even observed them grooming one another. This polygyny is going just as well as I hoped. But now, onto the bright news. There have been two exciting new arrivals to Antco, both of which I love a lot, and both are species that have never been featured on this channel. The first new colony is one that I've been wanting for ages, but I actually came across it by chance. This super rare colony is a dual queen colony of Chromatogaster, and I still can't find any ID for them. Please leave any suggestions in the comments section below. Any suggestions will be appreciated. These Chromatogasters are tiny, with the queens coming in at a tiny 7mm, and the workers even tinier, but they are still very fun to watch and keep. I caught the whole colony in the wild under massive rock while I was filming a Phenogaster funnels for my upcoming mini documentary series. I managed to catch almost every single worker present, and managed to scoop up half of the larvae inside the nest. It was actually my little sister who found the first queen, and it was her again who found the second. I moved them into an Empire of Ants Plus Nest A setup that had recently been vacated by my small Iridomarmex colony, which moved back into a test tube after I figured that the nest was too big for them. They have a whole bunch of larvae and eggs, but absolutely no pupae. Maybe because it is winter, the colony couldn't find enough food and had to pause their growth, but it seems like all the eggs in the nest had been laid by one of the two queens, most likely the dominant one. She is the one with the larger gaster, and the one that seems less active. The probably submissive one's gaster is much smaller, and it gives the impression that she is undernourished. But these ants just don't have any appetite, no matter how starved they look. They don't accept anything I give them, and they won't even try to taste it. Okay, enough about this amazing Chromatogaster colony. I actually bought the other new colony from Haley's Aquarium. Although the customer service was far from good, the ants were relatively cheap. I bought this colony of unidentified Camp Notice, with 7 workers and a small amount of brood, for only $75. I bought the formicarium they were living in, which included a Waitong or Hebel nest from Ants Australia, and the Grass and Stone Outworld from AKD, the place where I usually buy all my expensive ant equipment. And boy this was expensive. The setup cost over $125, and including the ants, the whole thing cost over $200, including tax and postage. But I think this is all worth it, as you guys get a ton of extra content. I will be making a review on everything I bought for this colony soon. Anyways, onto the colony itself. This colony moved into its nest surprisingly fast, and had almost completely settled into the nest on day 2. But I say almost, and most of the time they wander around the outworld or hang out just inside the vinyl tubing, leaving the queen and her brood behind. And speaking of brood, the queen had just completely ignored her brood, bothering only to clean and feed them once or twice a day. Talk about an irresponsible mother. So that's it for today's video and thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more videos as I will be uploading daily again for a while to come.